today to share some products that have not worked for me, girl. And there have been quite a few, but I've had five that I've had to select. So just to let you guys know, this is a collaboration with YouTuber Diane Shante. I do hope that I'm pronouncing your name right, sis. So those of you who are from her channel, hi, how you doing? Welcome, my name is Vivian. Um, so yes, you guys, let's just jump right into this. So the very first product, I don't actually have an example to show you, but I have done at least two reviews that I can think of off, off the top of my head. And it is the main and tail line. Now the main and tail is a staple to some people in the natural hair community. It is a product that my own mother used to use on my hair while I was relaxed. However, it does not work for me, for, for me, excuse me, now that I am natural. The only product by them that tends to work is the detangler, but I am talking specifically the conditioner because that tends to be one that a lot of people in the natural hair community um, have tried. It did not work well for my hair. If anything, it left my hair bushy, frizzy, um, the ingredients, are just not that great. So yes, the main and tail conditioner is a no-no for me. Now the rest of the products, I do have examples right here for, for you guys so that you can see and look. The next one is Echo Styles Coconut Oil Gel. Now this product, I was supposed to do a review for this and it didn't even get there. It, out of all of their Echo Styler that is, out of all of their gels, this one has been my least favorite. Um, the smell is a bit strong and I don't know you guys, I use this as a wash and go. I bought two of them and I purchased it through a vendor on eBay cause it was really hard to find, right? Um, so I did a wash and go and my wash and go came out puffy. It was really weird. Like the curls were defined towards the roots and then as my hair got down the shaft, it was just puffy. So yeah, this is a no. Now I have this because I do use it on my little boy's hair because it's okay, it's not great on his hair, but he's four years old, he's not gonna complain. <laughs> All right, and moving right along, the next one we have, you already know, girl, you already know. You can smell it, smelling like banana clips and pain and just, Yes, tenderheadedness. I mean, this is what this smells like. I know what it smells like. The Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. Now, I use this product. I had some people going in on my review, which by the way, I have reviewed all of these products with the exception of this one. This one didn't even get out the door, baby. But I had people on my lovely video um, who were absolutely convinced that I didn't use enough. I didn't use it right. I need to let it soak in. I need to add some sage oil. Yes, it does not work for my hair, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if people didn't watch that video from beginning to end. I actually use this, this product for a good week off and on. Moisturizing on wet hair, moisturizing on dry hair. I've tried to use it on my son's hair and it's, it's, there's build up, it's greasy. The more you use, the greasier your hair is. So this is a no, absolutely no. Bees wet. Mm -mm. Sorbitol. No, it's a no. Sorry, not working for me. Next up, we have the African Pride's Olive Miracle Anti Breakage Breakage Formula. Now, this product left me so upset because I remember what happened. That was, that was a whole week of doing reviews and all the products were horrible. This is why it's so important to look at your ingredients. Um, hmm. I was getting residue with this one. It was, it was sitting on top of my hair, okay? And I had to end up washing this out. I even tried, now this is one of the ones, one of the few that wouldn't even work on my son's hair, who is um, um, high porosity, by the way. So yes, this is, this is just horrible. And it's in all these different languages because they're hoping to get somebody to use a dang on thing, but no. And I know several of you guys said this didn't work for you either. Yes. This is a no-go for me, absolutely no. All right, you guys, so the last product has been a hit or miss. Now, I would never buy it again, I wouldn't. Um, but unlike some of the other products, it's one that I am still currently using because 
I make other, I, I deal with it. <laughs> I basically use it as a base for DIY deep conditioner and it is the Queen Helen's Cholesterol Oregon, Oregon Oil, excuse me. I use Queen Helen's Cholesterol, the one without the Oregon Oil, oil but this one is extremely thick. And I did get um, comments from my previous, uh, for the review on this, excuse me, that I could um, warm it up in the microwave to thin it out some but I feel like overall the regular Queen Helen cholesterol works for me so I don't see the point of purchasing this again but yeah it would have to be the Queen Helen's cholesterol with the Oregon oil it's gonna be a no it's gonna be a no for me but I am like I said I like the other ones I will go ahead and continue to use this but I can definitely live without this one too. You guys let me know, are there any products out there that you could definitely live without, that you've tried, you can live without? Do you agree with the products that I've listed below? If you can, check out Diane Shantae's channel. I'm gonna be linking it down below. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all our new subscribers. Take care, bye.